Hey everybody, Justin Sainer here. I'm gonna show you how to create personalized sales quotes on Shopify. This is a really popular strategy, especially when you wanna sell more. And uh, really extra attention is sometimes needed to close the deal. Every order is important, but those high ticket, high profit orders, or those really big quantity orders where you're gonna make a lot of money, obviously those can require and maybe deserve some extra attention. And sometimes more attention is actually needed in the closing of the sale. And a really popular strategy to do that, to close more sales, to make more money, is to create customized, personalized sales quotes, right? These can help you close the deal, but they could also help you upsell. They can help you secure big payments, right? And they can make your customers feel very comfortable. And if you spent any time inside of Shopify, you know that there's no built-in way for customers to request quotes. There's also no built-in way for stores to send out personalized quotes. So we're gonna to need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the one that I use myself. And this app, it's gonna to need to work with all different types of products, different vendors, different fulfillment processes, different niches. You're gonna see that the app I use literally directly integrates with Shopify. All the different products inside of your Shopify will be able to be put into the different quotes that you create. And the app needs to be easy to use easy to set up and require no prior technical experience to operate. You're gonna see all of that live over the shoulder when I show you Quote Machine. This is what I use, this is what all of my students use, this is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video into Quote Machine. It's an incredibly powerful app and it's very, very easy to set up. Go ahead and take a look at the link directly below this video, but I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go over the shoulder and actually set Quote Machine up. And this is a really, really powerful app. It could work for really any niche, but a lot of people in the medical supplies niche, the furniture niche, really built exactly for people like that. And I'm gonna show you how to apply this to your business. But again, here's the app right here, link directly below this video. You're gonna have that requ request a quote form. I'm gonna show you all this over the shoulder. And the best part is you can convert all quotes into actual Shopify orders. You never even need to leave the site. Everything works in here. And of course, stunning interactive quotes. I'll show you how you can customize, how you can add different layering, different decision making here, some conditionals. Very, very powerful. And again, here's Quote Machine right over here. So let's go over the shoulder. You see the link below this video. All you're gonna to need to do is press the green Add App button and we'll get this into our store. You'll then press the green Install App button and you'll be brought over into your onboarding dashboard. This is gonna be where we set up our little uh, basic information about our brand and our colors. So you'll enter in all that, customize your colors, add your logo over here, and then go on into the next step. And we'll finish off the onboarding over here and set in our goals. And then you'll be brought directly onto your dashboard. And you can actually schedule a free onboarding session with the Quote Machine team, free one-on-one, -on -one, very, very powerful over here. But we're gonna get started over here in terms of setting up our request, request a quote form. And then we're gonna also send some customized quotes. We'll always be able to go right into the dashboard over here as well, which is kind of your main spot for Quote Machine. So let's get started. How to add a request a quote form. We're gonna click the setup guide. It's gonna show us exactly the different steps that are required in terms of getting this into our store. We're gonna scroll down over here. What we're gonna be doing is customizing our shopping cart page. It's gonna have a request to quote form on here. And we're gonna come over here to uh, click on the actual step-by-step -step over here. So we wanna configure this request a quote form right onto the uh, checkout page. And you can take a look at the video over here, but I'm really gonna walk you through kind of everything that's important in terms of these steps. So what we need to do, we need to go over into our online store section. We're gonna go into our customized theme editor, and then we're gonna go into the cart page. So I'm gonna do this over here in a, a different window. So what we need to do is come down over here into the cart section on the uh, top. So we're gonna click on cart. Now we have all these different sections. We're gonna click add section. We're just following along right over here. What we're gonna do is basically add this section over here, the quote machine. And we come over here, we click add section. We're gonna see the apps section over here. And we have our different quote machine options. Add to quote button, quote customer form. We're gonna come right over here and select the one that we want. Quote customer form. And this gives us some now options here for the quote customer form. And what's really cool about this is that we're gonna be able to, and you see it added right over here, the quote customer form. We're gonna be able to configure it the way that we want. And there's some different settings over here as well. Basically the option of what products to select. We're gonna click use the main cart. This is gonna be the default. And then we could have some additional options over here, single product form. We could have show company field, required company field, really just kind of different uh, kind of inputs that we'll need inside here. And you see that this updates automatically. If we don't need company field, we could simply remove it. If we don't need phone number, for example, we could remove that. 
or we could set it to be required. Again, we have full control over all this. We could even change the text. We could change the positioning over here. Once they submit a quote, there's gonna be a thank you message. We can customize that as well. We literally have control over everything. You could even get advanced with some CSS selectors to fully customize look and feel, but really it's very, very powerful right here just to have it inside your uh, cart page as we see here. And having the ability to request a, co a quote is now enabled in our store. Next, we want to learn how to send a customized quote. And this is really powerful. I'm gonna walk you through this over here. And we go into the uh, send quote guide. It's gonna pop up the guide over here again. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we need to know in terms of this, but we have quote machine, we have the form already installed. Now we're ready to actually create our first quote. And this is really, really powerful here. It's very, very simplistic. What we're gonna do is start a new quote by uh, clicking on the new quote button. We could even go over here and set up our template over here. But we're gonna have a, different, uh, a lot of different varieties or different um, buttons to get to the quote section. We can come right over here. We can come over into the setup guide over here if you're on the onboarding as well. And what we need to do is select a quote and then select a customer that we're gonna be sending this to. And you're gonna see that we have a lot of different options in terms of adding product. And there's a lot of different ways that we could add product. We can even kind of get into some advanced ways to do it. But what we wanna do is basically create a quote, add product, and then distribute that quote, whether it's gonna be SMS or email. So we get direct the uh, quote sent directly to the customer. We can even track the progress of the quote once the customer receives it, and they'll be able to actually take a look at the different things that they could do and it obviously purchase the product is what we hope will be achieved. So again, you'll be able to look at these uh, kind of step-by-step -step at any time. We have the template as well. Always gonna be starting with that simple template. We can come over here and click edit content. You're gonna see the kind of look and feel of our template here. And what we can do is literally customize every single thing that we want in terms of look and feel. We could add sections, we could remove sections, we could even customize literally every single part of this. We have our little logo section, we could add a background image, we could add background color and start to kind of uh, clarify our brand and start to bring in our red and blue color scheme out here. We could have all these different sections, we could even add things over here. Let's say we wanted to add a video, we could add a branding image, right? We literally have full control over what we want to do when it comes to customization, right? Not just editing text, but we can go ahead and add entire snippets, entire libraries, entire forms, signature fields, pricing tables, file galleries, even things like uh, um, uh, line separators just to make things look nicer, right? Go in there and put a little line separator right in there, right? We literally just added that in one second. We don't like it anymore. We could delete it, right? We want to move it up, move it up, move it down, edit it, literally all that we need to do very very easy and so you'll want to make sure you fully customize the quote you can do that again under sales tools but what i want to show you is creating a new quote so we're here under the quotes section over here you can get to it anytime inside your dashboard and we're going to of course click new quote and we can either have a new customer or an existing customer so maybe you've already have a prior relationship with someone you'll be able to pull in their information from shopify i'm going to show you how to do it literally just from scratch you have a brand new customer you're going to be able to send this customized quote so i enter in the customer's information phone number email you could even enter in more information for example street address of course customer type customer tabs payment terms right there's some pre-loaded in here sales tax right we have some pre-loaded in here tax identification number and of course notes and we're going to click save this is the first step to creating this quote you see that our quote 0001 has now been created and i really love this in terms of probability to win what is a win well basically a, a paid invoice right we're thinking about on the uh, on our seller side right we need to, we want to use this to make money right we need to make this happen conversion wise so win rate this is going to see this increase over here when we uh, kind of add in more information and start to gather more kind of data about our customer and have a better uh, kind of handle on our sales process. You can get all the way up to 100% probability to win when you really understand your customers, and this is gonna help you do it. But what we have here is ability to kind of go in and add additional kind of notes here. This is for internal use, or really just sometimes you wanna make it look a little bit more professional. Put in things like this, you can put in the date in terms of, hey, this quote expires at the end of the month. You can put in notes, uh, discount applied, Thank you so much, right? Just a little note thing here. This is kind of more so for branding, for the customer to see this. You could even have appointments over here if you have sales calls, right? Very, very powerful over here. Here's gonna be that information that gets pulled in automatically from the customer, right? If this is an existing customer inside a Shopify, we'll pull that information as well, but you just saw me add this in here as well. We'll be able to add in billing address, shipping address, of course, if this was a real example, but this is just kind of a test here. Now, this is the real power over here, the pricing table, and this is where we're gonna to start to add our different products. All we need to do is just press add product or service, and we're gonna literally come through here and look through our different products. We could search through our catalog, 
and all we need to do is just add a product or multiple products here. So we could add products, we could set our unit cost if we want in here, we could even create different groups in here and we're gonna go ahead and add and continue browsing. And then we, we could select products until we're happy about that. I've added three different products over here. And now what we could do, we could even rearrange them in terms of order. Let's say you have a more expensive product you wanna show on top maybe to get that higher conversion rate, or maybe these products go in a specific order. You could of course rearrange that very easily. We could apply discounts over here, dollar discounts, percentage discounts. I'm gonna give 10% discount over here across the board for all of these products, getting a nice kind of, uh, hopefully a little conversion bump here by giving that little incentive. You'll see of course the total down there and you could have an ability to uh, accept a deposit or not if you uh, don't want when we just remove that right over here. And we could have a added fee on here as well if we wanted to apply a fee, typically you don't need to do that. Have the discount also apply that we've done that. We can apply a universal discount across the entire invoice as well if you didn't want to uh, individually discount some uh, products over here like we did right here in terms of uh, giving that 10%. Now, if we take a look at this, this is kind of cool. We have active, optional, multiple choice provided by customer or included. So these are basically different ways. You see if we do included, the price goes to zero. If we have optional item, you're gonna see that the customer will have the option to purchase this or not on the invoice. So what we can really do, come over here and we have all these different kind of option, um, uh, option products allowing for the customer to fully customize the quote. So this isn't just about kind of creating an invoice that's static. We could have one where customers have the ability to have optional items, we could have multiple choice, we could have customers pro uh, provide the item that they, that they wanna purchase from the store right inside of the invoice. This is not just a static invoice, totally dynamic, updating at all times. You can change the identifier, basically the name of the quote over here if you wanted to give it a custom branded name over here. We can come over to edit design. Of course, we know what this is gonna do, allowing us to edit the look and feel of this product. And this is exactly what this is gonna look like in terms of our uh, invoice, or I should say our quote. And when we have our include button, right, literally gives the ability for the customer to select this product or not. So very powerful. You see there's an example of just some of the customization. And you can imagine, right, you see a subtotal of $45. If we go ahead and add this, the subtotal automatically updates over here and you see the customer over here. And again, this is based on that template, uh, template that we customized. We could always have more as well. We're gonna close out edit mode over here. We're gonna review this over here in terms of our uh, quote, in terms of the products, in terms of the grouping, in terms of the options that we've created over here being optional for this product over here. We'll actually do optional for all these. And we have optional on every single item. So we're sending them a quote basically saying, hey, do you want any three of these? One, two, three, any combination of them, you'll be able to check that off. So when we're all ready to go, we could send uh, via SMS or we could send via email and we're gonna have this quote previewed over here. Here's our little subject, our from name, our address and all this stuff. Here's the proposal that we discussed. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks so much. It was nice chatting, right? Putting whatever you want over here. You have the open quote button as the call to action and we're gonna go ahead and send this quote right now. The quote was emailed. What we're seeing over here is the progress section over here. So created, proposed, accepted, or won, right? This is gonna be over here. We'll be able to see kind of all the progress over here, even the time spent on this quote. This is really cool, kind of showing your ROI in terms of time. How much time are you spending? Literally updated by the second in terms of what's going on in terms of back and forth. We see the whole thing over here. But let me show you what this quote is gonna look like on the customer side. So here's that email on the customer side of things, right? Here's that text that we put in there. Thanks, it was so nice chatting. Customer, our uh, store name, and here's our call to action, open quote. So when we go ahead and open this quote, what's gonna happen? Well, they're going to see that fully branded quote that we gave, and literally, and we previewed it, this is exactly what the customer is seeing. So process here, right? We, cr we created a quote through Quote Machine. It automatically emailed, or in, if we wanted to, SMSed the quote out to our customer. Quote is received via email or SMS. They then go ahead and click on open quote and they have all the information, right? From the store, logo or uh, title name, color scheme, information in terms of the customer, quote information. They could download it as a PDF. But this is again, not static. This is all live integrated into the Shopify store. So they're saying, okay, well, yeah, we talked about these three products. Which ones do I want? I see I'm getting a nice 10% discount. Okay, I'll grab this one and I'll also grab this one. I'm gonna skip the four-legged one, and here's my total. I could add any comments. Thanks for the discount, definitely be back next time. And we come over here, 
accept a quote and you press accept. So this is all good to go. Quote status is accepted, right? Here's the finalized quote. Now let's come back into our dashboard and give a little reload here onto the progress uh, side of things. We now see the quote update. We see the total amount that we're going to be able to bill here. We see the total amount of time that we spent on this quote, really cool. We see, of course, everything information-wise in terms of the customer, we see that everything is sent. We see the notes, we see the totals over here. It's incredibly powerful here. And we could talk about kind of uh, writing emails back. We could even look at the details over here in terms of what's gonna be purchased, what's inside of the uh, invoice. You see that this product was not selected over here. And this is really all shown over here. We did not uh, require a deposit, so there's not gonna be any deposit information over here. We've won this invoice as soon as uh, you know uh, we gave this over to them and they decided, obviously this being an example, they decided to pick those two products. So we'll come down here, we'll press the one button. This is exactly what we wanna see for all of these quotes. Now it's time to get paid. We're gonna go ahead and create the invoice. We could have payment terms over here. Put this over here in terms of different locations if you need to if you have multiple locations really not a big deal all you need to do include the lines which are specific to the products that they selected create the invoice it couldn't be any simpler than this the quote now is turned into an invoice we can go ahead and have this finalized out and of course what we're going to do now email so we've done the quote they have selected their custom options in the quote now we send them the invoice this page updates again showing now a balance ready to go we're now just waiting for payment the real cool part about this, everything integrated through Shopify payments. Here's our invoice email that gets sent over. We go ahead and open the invoice and you're gonna see that we're gonna be able to literally proceed right into checkout over here. Now this is the best part about this entire app. We're literally brought right into a Shopify checkout, right? No third parties, no weird looking pages. Everything integrates directly with Shopify. Here's the discounts. Here are the two products that they selected. You see the third product that they didn't select, of course, not here. So the customer now able to check out just like any other product. And Quote Machine literally has thought of everything. So that was Quote Machine. As you see, incredibly powerful, but also really easy to set up. It's highly recommended. You see the link directly below this video. You'll be able to get that request a quote form. It just takes a couple of minutes. You'll have everything set up. So get the link below this video. Install the app again, all you need to do, go to the app store right there, click that link, add app on the big green button, you'll get this up and running, have this in your store. I hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.